Well, as part of its 60th anniversary celebrations, the Inter-American Development Bank held a one-day forum on Wednesday as it's at its East Bay Street building, centered around an opening dialogue with the private sector and with the goal of strengthening small and medium-sized businesses nationwide. With the WTO accession earmarked for 2019, IDB country representative Daniela Carrera says now more than ever, the Bahamas can benefit from the removal of red tape to open the door to increased gross domestic productivity. Additionally, the country is on its own in the region, according to Carrera, as now as, as a non-WTO economy. Um, this doesn't work positively for the economy and the, the, the businesses, uh, just the opposite. We wanted to emphasize the importance of the role of the private sector in development, um, not only through the capacity of the private sector to employ people, to innovate, enhance uh, competitiveness, productiveness, but also basically because it's one of the most important actors in development. There are actual real initiatives that are being taken with the government to make SMEs more viable and that to make them a, in a better position to innovate. The one-day sessions inviting a number of private sector leaders to an open forum on a number of topics, including enhancing the business environment in the Bahamas, strengthening competitiveness across the board, and the general state of the private sector. Dr. Alan Wright, country economist with the IDB, says the more we work together, the happier we'll be both locally and internationally. The private sector in the Bahamas and everywhere in the world needs to be more competitive. The WTO process or the accession process of the WTO that um, the Bahamas started back in about um, 2001 or 2002, 17 or 18 years ago, really is a process that could lead to greater levels of competitiveness, not only for the Bahamas, but all of the retailers, all of the manufacturers, all of the producers here of goods and services in the Bahamas. It is important that our markets remain open so that not only are we able to bring the best technology in, but we're also able to export our best services and our products overseas as well.